time trials to see our positions. I definitely want to do more of it. It's really addicting. Yeah. I want to race a lot more. That would be awesome if you could get something done near near the uh, facility. That's something we're talking about right now. Look at it. The, the rear end is starting to get pretty close to that tire. It, it, are you trying to say I'm fat? So this is the Javelin from Spark Cycle Works. So you want to ride a Javelin? So what is up guys and girls? I am coming to you from my car. Where am I headed? Spark Cycle Works. Why? Because of the Project Javelin. At this moment, they have the latest iteration of the Project Javelin. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check it out. And this time I'm not going alone. This time I'm going with this guy over here. What's up guys? <laughs> if you don't know this guy, <laughs> He's pretty much popular in all of Jersey City. And he is slowly spreading from Jersey City to the tri-state area. This is V from Powerful Lithium. If you have been following along Spark Cycle Works journey, the Javelin was recently revealed at Flat Out Fridays. Matt and the crew had an opportunity to run the Javelin on a race course. Today I came equipped with my chest cam and I'm hoping to do the same thing. Ride the Javelin, not in a race course, throughout the streets in Brantford, Connecticut. And besides the Javelin, they have a variety of customized bandits that we'll also check out today. And speaking of bandits, if you guys are interested in a bandit, I have a playlist in my YouTube channel where I cover things like suspension, battery range. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get to see up-to-date pictures on some of the modifications that I've made. So incidentally, if you are thinking of getting a bandit, please use my code. I could save you about $100 off the purchase price of your bandit at checkout. So I'm excited to ride the Javelin. What about you, V? Are you excited? I'm super excited. So without any further ado, let's get into this one. This is the older setup, um, but so you have regen throttle on this mm -hmm. side, and essentially the plan we're we're still trying to run all the programming to make it work perfectly. But imagine you have like an indicator of some sort that's like a a special meter, just like in a, a video game, where like let's say you're doing Mortal Kombat, right? As mm -hmm. you like punch people, your special meter goes up. Think about that, right? So as you use regen, it will accumulate on that special meter. So over the course of, I don't know, a minute or two of racing, it'll slowly build up. And then whenever you want to, there's two main function buttons. Mm -hmm. And one is um, the boost button. So on Sabaton, I can easily set 
boost levels. All right. Yeah. Um, so I can I can make it peak out for like three seconds, let's say. Mm -hmm. And then on the other one, that's the whole Arduino end, which is like what we call a takedown button. So uh, we just did a test of it two days ago where we went out with three riders and as you're racing, somebody takes the takedown button and somebody's motor cuts off for two seconds. So it's like Mario Kart where you're on the track, you're racing and then Okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to boost or do I want this guy to lose his power for two seconds? Right, so that's kind of the idea. That's why we call it game mode. So nice. that's why this whole aspect is here. Um, nice. so that's that's the thought is, you know, we, Great can, idea. we can just make another another bike that's just like every other e-bike or we could add some other kind of function in there that look when make, people get, get those bikes. Time. Yeah. They will do whatever whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Those bikes usually, like seventy percent, they're not staying stuck. Yeah, right. So yeah, so yeah. and the game mode is an option. Yeah, right? it's so not you, something you toggle that... it on and off. Yeah. So like you you basically have to get off the bike, and to turn that mode on, so that you're not going through New York City and then somebody like deactivates your motor as you're going through a red light or <laughs> something. Funny. But in normal mode. Uh, one is a cruise control button, so mm -hmm. you can lock a cruise control. It's actually that's very good. like that. Yeah. And then the, the other one actually is still the boost. I still like having the boost, just to get into traffic or to just whatever stop mm -hmm. sign. That boost is nice to have um, because you really only need that peak power just to get up to speed. Mm -hmm. You know. Correct. So. If I can make this run 3,000 watts and have it peak up to whatever, seven or eight, seven, eight yeah. um, that's it's where the fun is. Mm -hmm. That boom. It makes it exciting. So I can still say it's a 3,000 watt and I can you make it boost peak on, on hand. Yes. It's kind of cool. Until you have guy like me yeah. that killing those watts, seven, eight, yeah. into five, yeah, right. or four, <laughs> 45, right. right. It looks good. I mean, it looks like something. It looks good. I mean, you were here when I first started building it and it was like, what, two days? From the time we got the parts in, two days to weld the entire bike, put it all together and get it on a track. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like I had to kind of avoid all the cosmetic stuff and just make something work, but it, it's okay. It's it, it's working. <laughs> so, yeah. We're, we're that much closer. Yeah. Uh, so like I told you, it's it's not like a rocket ship right now. I didn't have time to hook up the full controller and everything. So I just pulled a pretty crappy off-the-shelf controller that I knew worked rather than put something new on there and be like, I don't know if it's going to work. I just wanted to make sure it got around the track. So, um, so it's functional. It can probably do, in this state, 45. Yeah, you, you, you say it was a moderate tune, but I saw you come past me and you it feels like you were moving. I think moderate in terms of torque and acceleration. Okay. I, I hope it will feel really smooth to you. That's one of the big goals I've been trying to get. A lot of the other bikes are like very kind of aggressive feeling and that's cool. But for my feeling, this one feels more smooth and comfortable to ride. I'm anxious to see the foot position on you too, because that's something I'm playing around with. If it needs to be forward or back. Okay. Um, I will then, let you know. And then the um, the seat on it is uh -huh. awful, so it's basically like a piece of plywood. So don't <laughs> don't think anything of the seat. Okay. Uh, don't be too critical. Yeah. The other, yeah. The uh, other, turning it on. It's how on. Do I, how do I do that? It's on. It's the same. The same stuff bandit? as the bandit. Okay. MB power. Okay. Uh, this is. It says assist one, yeah. but there's no level assist. There's no level assist. If I mess with that number, what would it do? It changes the top speed. So five will be just write it on five. Okay. Um, that way you don't have to adjust it. Okay. But this is a mistake I made when I was racing. Uh oh. I started the race off. One. On one. I was a freaking idiot. I was I was in the line to get okay. on the track. The bike was on, and I forgot to deactivate the auto shutoff feature on this. Okay. And I was sitting for so long that it turned off. And so they gave us a green light to get out and I quickly turned the bike on and I rolled in five miles an hour. 
and then I'm on the track and I, you can watch the race. I go like this and everyone just flies by <laughs> me. And so I'm very quickly like, fuck, 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 fuck. I'll have to add that clip. Yeah. Okay, but, but with that being said, you still came in sixth place. Yeah, I still think it's pretty good. That's phenomenal. I mean, this is, it's a small track. That's uh -huh. kind of what's cool about Flat Out Friday. This little track. And so a lot of it is about like, what can you do with the bike that you're on? If your bike is too powerful, like we saw, yeah. you can be cocky and f fly off. Yeah. So, you know, I definitely want to do more of it. It's really addicting. Yeah. I want to race a lot more. That's now. good. That'd be awesome if you could get something done near, near the uh, facility and yeah. then everybody could come out here, spend the day, race. And if game that's mode is idea. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, th I, that's something we're talking about right now is planning out the next, honestly, like five or six months. Um, I've been talking to tracks uh, in all sorts of different places to see what we can do because I really want to lean into racing. Oh. And I don't want to make it so it's only ours. Okay. Because we're cutting off 90% of people. Right exactly. There. And what fun is it to beat another one of yours? It would yeah. be a lot more, a lot more fun. fun to beat someone else. And on the other side, if you get beaten by somebody else, get that, bragging rights you get that competitive like oh i gotta get them next time what do i do so anyway uh this whole array right is doing nothing right <laughs> i just had to fill the holes because i didn't have time to do it all uh -huh. um well it gives people a sense of as to what's uh, to come but this is honestly this like is some stuff that show off. yeah so this okay. is kind of cool so very empty right now because it doesn't have any of the cosmetic stuff on it um, normally there's all paneling that go on here and make it look really nice. Mm -hmm. There's no time for that. But eventually, what's cool, the battery fits perfectly in here, mm -hmm. removable. Right. And then this back is all storage. So you could put an umbrella in here. You could put whatever you want in here. Charger. You could, yeah, that's actually <laughs> the biggest thing. So it's, it's sized exactly to fit the charger. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And one thing I was thinking about, so you see how there's like these openings? You see how yeah. there's this? Yeah. This cutout is in a specific place along this entire bike. Okay. And one thing I was thinking is I could put a plug in here like that. Mm -hmm. And so if your charger's in here, blah, 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 all you need no. is the extension cord. So, so just, just plug in the bike. Just much. plug in the bike to the wall. Oh. You never have to. That's a great idea. Yeah, so it just could be a convenience thing. Yeah. This well, is another thing that's kind of, most people are like, what is going on here? Yeah, I don't, I know what that is yeah. exactly. This is like, we wanted to do this from the beginning and I'm so glad it worked out, but it's just a grab handle. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to mention any like competitor's name, but I know a few that have ruined their seats yeah. trying to lift the bike. Yeah. So this is, you want that first thing to grab this sure. because you'll also see that it is the highest point. So if this bike falls on its side, um, this gets scratched up. Uh -huh. not, not the turn that. signals, not this. Oh, that would fall out too, but these, those two yeah. can't do. So that's, that's a helpful thing. I like these, these look awfully familiar. Yeah, you got those too. This is, <laughs> we're working it out, just, you know. Yeah, work in progress, right? What did you call it? A project. That's what it is. Yeah. It's leading to some fun things, but anyway, yeah. um, we should take it for a ride. I'm, I'm going, cool. I'm going now. All right, so the Javelin is equipped with 19 inch motorcycle tires. It has both front and rear suspension. You're looking at a 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery. Magura brakes. She's outfitted with a front headlight, turn signals and brake lights. I don't remember the model, but it is a Honda motorcycle seat. And she looks like she's going to be a lot of fun to ride. So let's get into this one. All right, I am going to stay off of the main road. Oh. Okay, so what you're looking at is the Javelin. All right, so let's talk about the Javelin. What a comfortable ride. So I will hold my leg out for balance. And play with the handling. And she handles nicely. 
the peg placement right now is pretty good I'm comfortable she is fast that throttle is incredibly smooth <laughs> I like this a lot so they have gotten that much closer to a final design but just keep in mind that this design is still a prototype it's still being tested and it might not look like this once it's done so keep in mind that all of the affiliates will be able to get their hands on this thing and give the javelin a run for its money in their own backyard see like right now i'm driving up and down this road but i'm somewhat conservative if it was my backyard i'd know exactly what trails to hit and how hard to hit them all right so we can sum this up with this ride is very comfortable it is very smooth there's power despite the fact that he says that it's been moderately tuned it is fast and it looks pretty darn good so you want to ride a javelin so if you're like me you're really excited about the javelin now if you look back at the past research project you'll see that that is what led us to the bandit this new project seems to be teaching the team a lot about how difficult it is to make a frame completely in-house they've been very tight-lipped about where this project is going and what type of bike will be built using the methods that they've developed now i had a lot of fun riding the javelin now i'd love for it to be just like the bike that i rode today but there's no guarantee so when will the javelin be available well they continue to tell me that there is no timeline instead they're going to continue developing until they feel that they've landed on something special i guess that's what's nice about not having to answer to investors these guys can take their time and make something really special so how soon before project javelin is turned into an actual product for right now i have no idea so right now let's concentrate on the bandit their main focus remains on the bandit and right now the bandit is in stock and it's on sale it is the least expensive bike on the market that offers pedal assist front and rear suspension reaches speeds of up to 40 miles per hour with a range of up to 30 miles it is equipped with headlights tail lights brake lights and turn signals and did i mention it was in stock get yours today while supplies last and don't forget if you want to save 100 dollars off the purchase price of your bandit use my code spring is here and with the warm weather comes the riding season so get yours while supplies last so if you enjoyed this video please don't hesitate and smash that like button leave a comment because i get back to everybody and if you want please subscribe so until the next video peace out everybody Is expensive. Uh, or if you want me, I can install you all these uh, uh, wheel hub, hub motors. For this? Yes, electric. <laughs> uh, 8 kilowatt QS has for cars. Oh, I can't mention 8 kilowatt or QS. Two of them. I know, but then I'll give people ideas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but this that. is for car. Okay. QS motors. For car. For, for car. car.